Alright, so I'm sorry in advance, uh, <clears throat> if this video seems a bit unorganized. I am literally just recording this on my phone, sitting on my bed. I don't know what to do, I'm just going to find a way through this, I guess. Either way, uh, today we're going to be discussing the new Mustang Mach-E. It has been fairly debated, I guess. Uh, it's an all-electric Mustang crossover thing. I think it's okay, but other people have very unpopular opinions about it. Uh, now, I'm going to go off of what Ford is saying in several articles. Uh, I'm, once again, I'm not sure if any of these are true. However, they are. They do seem to be pretty trusted sources. For example, CNBC, Car and Driver, and the official Ford website. Anyway, so we're just going to get into this, uh... I'm going to state my thoughts on what I originally heard. I was in the shower, so I saw a video right after. And there is certainly, once again, some pretty negative opinions about it. But personally, I do enjoy <clears throat> the Maki. Uh, I'm kind of excited for it. You know, like, yeah, sure, it doesn't deserve the Mustang name, per se. But it could also end up like the Crown Vic, where... See, so the Crown Vic, it was as the LTD, I believe. Uh, and then it eventually split off, became its own model, then died. But, yeah, I wonder if that would happen, then that would probably make a lot of what I hear just, like, disappear, you know? But it's gonna remain the Mustang for a while. Uh, so, from what I've been hearing, the top performance model, uh, I think the GT is just the top performance model. Okay, if you hear my dogs barking, I'm sorry. I'm recording this later in the afternoon, right before my little brother gets home. But, <clears throat> yeah, 0 to 60 time will be in the mid free second range. That's pretty fast, you know? I'd say so myself. It's, it's got an estimated 459 horsepower, which I'm going to look up what the 2019 Mustang GT. Which is. What, is that more? Literally one horsepower less than the 2019 Mustang GT 459. Uh, it's definitely gonna be pretty expensive. For example, the base model, the base model is gonna be just under 60 grand, and then the GT will be like 60,500. Uh, there are several editions, including the California Route One, which will I assume will be the California Special, uh, Premium, and then the Select. So. Okay, so I was wrong about the because the select is forty three thousand eight ninety five uh MSRP and it goes up to about sixty thousand with the GT model GT model. All right, but the GT is the most expensive. Uh, I forgot what I was talking about right there. I'm sorry, I got interrupted. But. GT is the most expensive, and the Select is the cheapest, with about a 17000 difference. Starting at $43,000, which is more than the Mustang GT at the current moment. Which, the Mustang GT currently goes for, uh, start, well, starts at 35000 and it's And the base model, the Select, or whatever it is, uh, starts at forty-three. So, it's going to be pretty expensive, but, but that's a given. Because it is an electric vehicle, and most of them are expensive. Even though they do make up for savings or whatever in the long run. Uh, and I know this is going to be another point of debate. It's like, oh, but it's, but they don't have a network of chargers around the nation like, say, Tesla. Uh, according to what I've been hearing, that is not going to be the case for long. They're going to start building sort of chargers or whatever for the mach -E. I don't know, I'm going only off of what I've heard, which I don't even know if it's true, but I'm hoping it is. Uh, the EPA, well, estimated mileage or whatever, it goes from like 300 to 230. Uh, 230 is with, I don't know, the GT makes more mileage by like a very slim amount compared to the select model, but the select model is cheaper after all. Now, the interior, okay, it reminds me a lot of a Tesla. Like, I've said in a Model 3 before, and it's it's pretty nice, I guess. I wonder if Ford's gonna challenge that. 
Because, you know, like, the, the AC and the Teslas, okay, those are pretty cool. I'm just not a big fan of how there's a giant screen in the center. I guess the only really thing that bothers me about the interior, like, the digital, the digital speedometer, yeah, that looks alright, I guess, how it is. You know, they could make it fit in better. But, it's definitely, it definitely could be worse. It definitely could be worse. Uh, I'm gonna go back to the X here for a moment. I do like the, I do like the GT grill more than I like the other models, because, like, it's the regular grill, and, you know, it looks more like a regular car, and not just a monstrosity. I love how everything's just quiet around me. Uh, this is a side note, but I like how everything's quiet around me until I start recording. But, but yeah, uh, it will supposedly be profitable for Ford, which I don't know how it's gonna work, but it might. The uh, screen on the Mustang, okay, I'm looking at a picture right here. I think it might be a little bit smaller than the Tesla screen. I'm not completely sure if it actually is, but it looks a little bit smaller. Either way, it's pretty fast. Like, it makes mid-free free second ranges for 0 to 60. Uh, and, you know, that's that's a good amount. Especially, like, that's base. I mean, you can't really mod the car or anything, you know, it's an electric car, but... But yeah, it definitely will be interesting. Uh, it will have the front storage space. The Mach-E, it isn't always going to be a Mustang, of course. Because, you know, I don't personally think it deserves the name, like I said earlier. I hope I said it- yeah, I said it earlier in this recording. But, but, I don't know. It's a very debatable topic, and I think that's why most people are mad. Okay, so there's a 300 mile uh, range on the best ones. Which is pretty good, you know, that's about, like, I would say New York City to Pittsburgh. And that's a pretty decent distance, I'd say. Maybe, I think that would also be, like, Las Vegas to Los Angeles. I don't know. Don't quote me on that, but I think that's about 300 miles. The battery is located under the floor, so that you will have front and back storage space. Uh, there will be standard stuff that's in most Ford, newer Fords. For safety. Uh, I don't know how this is going to turn out. When I start seeing this on the roads, it's going to be pretty interesting. Uh, however, some say it is supposed to be competing, competing the Tesla Model Y, which is a uh, Tesla sort of like hatchback similar car to the Mach-E. Uh, but personally, I think it's more supposed to go against the Model X. Maybe both the X and Y, who knows. But definitely it will be exciting to see on the roads, and, you know, like, it's gonna be Tesla's first really major competitor, probably, if you're thinking about it, but I'm not actually, I'm not absolutely sure, but I am pretty sure that's how it's gonna work. According to the Ford website, there is a pretty decent amount of space. It is an all-wheel drive as, uh, compared to the regular Mustang's rear-wheel drive, but I definitely not a big fan of the rear of the car. Because, you know, like, it just has the, must the Euro Mustang taillights. And something about that, it just kind of bothers me. Because it's just like it has a bar a across it. And it's just like, why do you do that, though? Like, what's the point? Th like, that just looks terrible. Like, that's the only really major design flaw that I can't stand, and no matter the trim. Okay, why is it when I... Alright, whatever. I'm gonna wrap up the video. If I- I'm sorry if I forgot anything. This is very impromptu. There is no script to it, and I am not very good at putting things in words without a script. Uh, so yeah, if you guys enjoy this or whatever, leave a like. I might do more of these in the future with more cars that are announced. And, well, yeah. I mean, I guess, whatever. Just go follow my Instagram if you want. Official.pinky.killer. I definitely will be seeing one of these eventually. So I am going to throw it on my page when I eventually do. And, uh, yeah. I'll see you guys in the next video. Uh, bye, YouTube.